Peace to the five percent nation of gods and nerfs. This is your host, born divine almighty Allah, King of New Jersey, BTB TV. We bully the bullies. We waiting for my uh, our, our guest to come through. Cadillac Ty of Murder Inc. record label. You know what I'm saying? Ja Rule, Irv Gotti. You know what I'm saying? The 50 Cent G Unit um, Murder Inc. Beef. The one and only Cadillac Ty will be here shortly. He needs like four or five more minutes. But um, while we waiting, I want to talk about this clown ass nigga, Hassan Campbell. Hassan Shambles. Butter thighs. Ray Cash, you salute. Jersey in the building. Everybody stand up, man. Y'all hit that like button as y'all come in. Let the guy know, know y'all here. Wax Dog, peace to Wax Dog, my brother. Me Q. Good afternoon, Queen. AP Wiz, I see you, bro. This is gonna be a um interesting and great interview. Real talk. Just waiting for him to come through, though. You know what I mean? So, um, how was your holidays? For those who um celebrate, for those who don't. Wish y'all had a great holidays. Me, I worked. You know what I mean? I don't celebrate holidays like that, but I make sure the kids is great. Al Pizzle, salute, bro. I see you up in here, man. It's been a minute, Al Pizzle. Yeah, Shante, Black, Black Child, etc. Vita. I think a little bit of Charlie Baltimore at one time, you know what I mean? I feel you, I feel you, bro. Thanks for thought. Stay for um slamming through though, you know what I mean? We're gonna try to make this an epic one because I wanna ask all the questions that no one has never asked him, you know what I mean? Because he was a founding member of Murder Inc. And it seems like he goes unnoticed. Compared to Black Child and Irv Gotti and Ja Rule and Vita and Ashanti and all of them. Well, our pips of salute, but appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yo, it's, this is something different, man. I'm trying to something new, man. I'm trying to share some more line with this brother, man, because this brother, he, like I said, he got a story that we all need to hear. And that's some real shit. He had the story that everybody needs to hear. Your Cali Tie from Queens, bro. In fact, indeed, indeed. From Queens. If I'm not mistaken, South Jamaica too. Or Jamaica Queens. I'm not sure South or North, but I know he's from Jamaica, I think. But he's gonna tell all y'all where he's from, what he's doing, what he's about. As soon as he, as soon as he pop up in here. How can be? Peace to the God. Salute, bro. Thanks for stabbing through. I know I had a lot of other interviews set up in the previous times. And I know a lot of cats had flaked on me, you know what I mean? But this guy right here, he's been keeping in contact with me 
off and on since we talked about the interview. So I got enough respect for this man. Oh, AP Wills, he know 50 real good. Him and 50, he'll tell you about it. I'm going to put it out. We'll talk about it. Yes. Nick Q, tell him again, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. That's what's up, Nick Q. I worked. I grinded. Malik Messi, everything is great, bro. How are you, man? Salute. Let me get my boy, my boy, old Mac up in here. Wax dog, I see you, bruh. Yo, man. I see Chris down, my boy Chris down in here. Candace Finest MC. Salute. The little bro, you know what I'm saying? Um, yo, I saw Campus being real reckless at the mouth, yo. I don't know how I don't know how this dude is still walking around, man. Somebody should have been put foot to ass on this cat, yo. Ray Cashel, he definitely wild, bro. Peace, God. Jahan Reddick, what's going on? Mad money. Salute, man. On seven and five, peace to the God Almighty. How are you? Salute to you, brother. Almost oh, definitely been a while, son. Malik, most definitely been a while. Eastwick in the building, you know how we do. Elizabeth, stand up. Jersey, stand up. Queens, stand up. South Jamaica, Queensbridge, Hollis, everybody stand up. John Red, I got, I got, I got quite a few jail stories, bro. So you know we gonna, um, we gonna definitely um, do more. We're going to definitely do more. All right, hold up. Here go the guy right now. Yo. Peace, bro. What's the word, bro? You can hear me? I can hear you, bro. I can hear you well. Y'all can y'all hear Caddy? He in the building, man. I'm going to keep it real with I'm gonna keep it real with Caddy right now. Bro, I always been rocking with, I always rock with you, man, out of all them niggas from Murder, Inc., bro. Real talk. Good looking, good looking, though. I'm a sol- I'm gonna keep I'm a solid 50 fan, dog. But I see that 50 never went at you like he went from other dudes. So I was like, 50 must rock with this nigga a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that shit. I mean, if you, if you remember in the beginning, like, you know what I mean? 
he used to always go on the, on the interviews and be like, yo, yeah, I don't fuck with none. The only nigga I fuck with over there is, is my nigga Ty. That's the yeah. realest nigga over there. He used to say shit like that in little video and little or interviews in the very beginning. If niggas yeah. can go back and find some of that shit in the archive. So, but yeah, you know what I mean? I Me and him had a relationship. Me and him had a relationship prior to music. You know what I mean? We went to junior high school together and all that. We was cool. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you a question, bro. When did you fall in love with hip hop, bro? Man, shit, probably. You know what? I could say probably like when I was like 11, 12. Yeah. 11, 12. Like, you know what I mean? Is when I, and like I said before in the, in the interview, I fell in love with the, ironically, the DJ part of it. Not even the, not even the rapper part of it. At first, I fell in love with the DJ part of it because the DJs was the one that used to always do the park jams and them niggas used to come pull up. You know, I niggas used to wait for the van yeah. to pull up and them niggas to unload the equipment. And that shit used to um, uh, uh, fuck me up on how them niggas had everybody come and how they used to captivate everybody with just pulling out the, the equipment and just fucking playing music. So I kind of fell in love with that part of it first. You know what I mean? Yo, let me tell you something, bro. I'm from Elizabeth, New Jersey. You know, Cut Master Cool V, me and his sister's best friends. And Ben's mm -hmm. Marky and my aunt and Cut Master Cool V, they are they, they tight. So we used to have block parties, bro. And the block parties where I fell in love with hip hop, watching Big Daddy Kane come to Elizabeth, Ben's Marky, um, yo, all them niggas, um, what's that nigga? Cool G Rap. Them right, right. Boys. They came to the hood, bro, to my projects on block parties and turned up. Nah, that's and I was a Run DMC fan, but when they did that shit, man, that turned me out with hip hop, bro. Real talk. Nah, shit. Just think about it. Like you said, look at how the DJ was pulling all them, all them MCs. Like you know, remember everything back then. Shit didn't really move unless the DJ moved. That's why you think back in the early times, all the dope rappers had good DJs. Think about it. Eric yeah. B, Eric B and Rakim, Run right. DMC, like you just said, Cool V. Like all the dope motherfucking MCs had to have a dope DJ, bro. That shit was like a package deal. You know what I mean? You wasn't What's certified up? if you ain't have a real live uh good DJ. You know what I mean? Hell uh, yeah. So so, so let, me, let me ask you this question. So you were 50, you went to that went to elementary school, or middle school together. Yeah, we went to middle school. We was in the seventh grade together and shit. I had got kicked. I was in a like, see, me and him. I, I'm, I live in the south side, he in the south side. But where I live in the south side is like damn near the borderline of the north. So I could, you know what I mean, where I live, I could take, I could walk like maybe five blocks, go underneath this trestle, and then I'll be technically on the north side. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? So where I, where, where I lived at zoned my school to north side school. So my first school that I went to was a north side school. That's how I know a lot of North Side niggas as well. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I went to school on the North Side, but I got kicked out of that school. Then they sent me to the South Side Zone School, and that's when um, me and me and Fifth was in the seventh grade and shit. All right. So back then, you when you started rapping, was y'all was y'all was y'all ever battling and shit in, in the seventh grade, eighth grade? Nah, bro. Because like I said, around that time, I was really trying to still try to fuck with the DJ shit, you know what I mean? Okay. Getting turntables. And I don't even know if he was even rapping back then, because if he was, he never told me he did. And like I said, I was like, my God, nigga, we used to be together like every day. It was like yeah. a little clique of us. It was like, like like a clique of seven or eight of us that used to just be around each other every day in seventh grade. You know what I mean? And um, fucking, um, yeah, I was on the DJ shit around okay. when I was like fucking 14, 15. I started rapping when I was like 18. You know what I mean? Yeah. So was was you was you uh, introduced to Tony Ayo then? Nah, I never even knew that nigga. I think he was a couple of years younger than us. Okay. His bro his brother is I think more like my age. You know what I mean? He was a little younger, so he was like a nigga that was not even on the same like he wasn't in the same league as me. You know what I mean? Yeah, like true. when me when me and Fifth was running around and Fifth was getting his little money, I was doing my thing. He was like a little homie on the block. Okay. You know, that wasn't really doing much. You know what I mean? Okay, I feel you on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so I, I know because I remember, yo, I used to um 